So here we are again, playing uh, with the Shoreline Consortium. I have a new version of it here, uh, and I'm kind of excited to try this. Uh, I've been talking with the the creator of this, and every new rendition gets a a little bit better. I think so. It's kind of cool to see this. Um, so let's go ahead and start. I uh, I've noticed recently that he changed the setup from J to K. So I wonder if that is in response to uh, <laughs> what I did before, which is which is fine. Um, but let's let's try this. Um, again, we got the same thing. I uh, and now in the set there are twenty. It looks uh, yeah. Yeah, 4 times 5 is 20, right? So, there are 20 tulips. That's fine. Everything is now labeled nicely. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Uh, <laughs> it looks a lot better. Uh, clearly, the amount of work going into this is is pretty good. Um, here's the front. Uh, some of the actions are different from before, so I will go a little slowly. But what I want to do right now is just to set up and to get started. I'm going to play against the uh, the, the Marquis, the cats. Uh, very, very uh, standard, I think. Uh, we're going to lock this down. We're going to shuffle... That wasn't the right one. Oops. Huh. Oh, no. One second. There and there. I think we're fine. Okay, uh, we're going to lock this down. And we're going to grab uh, one, two, three... Or maybe we need to shuffle this. Let's go ahead and shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One, two, and three for the consortium. That's fine. And one, two, and three for the marquise. Uh... Like that and flippy flip. Okay, pretty pretty good so far. Uh, let's see. We're going to uh, take a look at our cards here. Looks like we want a. We'll throw mouse for easy uh, easy T. So we'll we'll start. Um, let's go ahead and start here. And we'll throw a recruiter here. We'll throw a. Uh, I'm sorry, a work workshop there. Uh, we'll throw a. Uh, recruiter down here and we'll throw a sawmill up here or do I have that backwards that's probably pretty good let's try that um okay grab a bunch and we're gonna put one here one there one there one there oops I only did two for some reason anyway well that's fine already cheating and one there I think we still put one one in the Thing. I think only the robots put more than one. Let me double check here. Is that a place one warrior in each clear? So that it, uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um. And then. Right. Make that pretty. Make that pretty. Put the VP down here. <clears throat> I think we're okay. Um. These guys. Now. Um. Place the six warriors on one marsh token. So number one, they get a marsh token this time. They don't just get the uh, the six warriors. They also get the marsh token. So they get a little bit of a, a kickstart there. Um, and, and any edge clearing along the river, which is not another player's homeland. So what I could do, I could start here. So now there, I've, I've talked to the guy. And there are two places to start. So the any edge river, any end of the river, which is cool. If not, if you can't do that, if they're all taken... Um, for example, in the mountain, yeah, the mountain map, uh, you can, if none is available, select another river clearing. So then you can choose any other river, which is kind of cool. Okay, so anyway, what I want to say is we, we're going to start down here. We're going to take a marsh token in there, and we're going to take six warriors and put them right there. Just like that. Um, and that is where we will start. So uh, we get to put our VP token here, and we get to... Uh, roll to see who goes first here so we're gonna take all the dice and oops <laughs> and throw them across the board okay we're going to roll 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 and that's our answer there so we got two okay so the cats are gonna go first here okay the only things i'm controlling are the maps because i want to make sure that it works on the base map and then the other thing i'm controlling is the deck everything else is going to be up to uh up to snuff as i as i see fit Okay, so the cats are going to look at this. They're going to uh, place one wood at a sawmill. It's been a while since I played cats. Place one wood at a sawmill. They're going to uh, craft uh, T. So they're going to craft T. T comes over here. We score two points for T. 
just like that and then we're going to battle march look at all that's good stuff uh what i like to do on a on a basic cat turn is overwork which is why i have the sawmill there uh and then i want to build build uh we're going to build another sawmill in hmm, fox is fine i guess oops i'm so used to playing stuff with tokens uh and we're gonna build i kind of want to build a workshop i don't think especially going against the consortium i don't know if it's going to be super useful to um have warriors necessarily so anyway that's three points one two and three points that's two wood gone and that is the uh the end of that turn there uh evening we have to draw a card we flip and we got an ambush card yeah with ambush you don't really need the uh, the warriors anyway okay so um that is the end of their turn so here let me double check here so flood is i think the same um so flood is again if you don't know uh you may remove one marsh token in a clearing you rule which also contains any enemy warriors uh remove all pieces from that clearing other than your warriors um so it needs to contain enemy warriors it's not only their buildings or something um i thought maybe maybe that's a typo maybe that's a typo but we'll follow what this says for the sake of this game um so if if for example if for example this guy's not here and i have a marsh token up here i would not be able to activate this because according to that there are no uh, warriors there so maybe that should say pieces uh this is just for uh review sake uh in case uh the author wants to change this they will know what what to say um so anyway we cannot do flood here um i think i reset properly great gather uh choose any number of clearings with tulips we don't okay uh and then to market that's uh putting them into the the auction block we can't do that so we're on daylight we have to take four actions here uh we can move we can battle we can build what i want to build is to reveal a card matching a clearing um we're going to reveal this one to build here um interestingly enough interestingly enough um unless they're playing with really crazy factions here um they are unable to build to start anywhere on this map except in a rabbit clearing very interesting interestingly enough um by default they have to be starting a rabbit so they're very rabbit friendly i guess anyway i do not have a rabbit card so i have to use this and that will kind of be difficult but it should be okay huh we're going to huh, do a poter okay and then we're going to grow um once per turn so we're going to put a tulip here uh, in a with a poter um and i kind of want to move from a river clearing i want to move i want to move two here or four here i think it's fine i think that'll work okay so then we're going to auction we can't do auction because we have nothing there oh uh, we're going to discard any revealed bird cards which goes bye bye that goes bye bye and then uh we draw one card discard down to five so these guys get another card he's uh changed the the card draw here which is super nice i think that's really good um okay dope. um cats are then going to put wood they put a wood here they put a wood there uh we're going to craft using workshops can't craft anything um but i do want to build Hmm. I've already run out of Fox real estate except for here. That's dangerous. <laughs> That's quite dangerous. I kind of want a fa I want to I want to craft this card is my point there, but oh well. Uh I think for this turn we're going to uh craft we're going to make a recruiter. And we're going to put a recruiter right here. Uh and that will cost uh one wood. And score us a point that's the first action second action i want to recruit so we're going to take one two and put one there and one here and i kind of do i, I want to march i'll march there and i get one more move action with that march let's solidify front lines by moving this guy here Yeah, okay. That should be fine. Uh, they get to draw a card. Like that. Yeah. Um, 
Shoreline's turn. Shoreline's turn. They get to, they can flood, they can't flood. Uh, well, they could, but why? Uh, I think it's interesting. Flood kills everything. So even if you have like a Poter and a Tulip, it, they would be gone. Uh, that's a little dangerous, but I guess that's the sacrifice you'd have to be willing to make. Um, gather any Tulips. I kind of want to get that. Um, interesting. Interesting. So we could do that. Because the thing is, I want to kind of grow and then get even more. But I guess that's okay. Um, but check this out. Check this out. You get the tulip, right? You gather. You gather. Uh, you gather here. So we gather. It says choose any number of clearings with tulips. Then remove all tulips there. Then if you removed any tulips, place two warriors at each poter. So we can take this out. We can take this out and put it on the auction block. We'll be there in a second. But then I can take two warriors and throw them down, which is kind of cool because that boom instant recruit. Um, and especially we probably can build another thing here, which will be useful. Now, on um, and if you if you clear even one tulip, it looks like if you removed any tulips, you place two warriors. So even if you only clear one clearing, like if I have both of these going. Um, I can get people out. Now, I only have a maximum of 12, so getting everyone on the board is not going to be that difficult. But, but getting that much recruit power, uh, even when I can recycle my warriors, is pretty pretty powerful, I think. Um, so, let's see. We wanted to... Um, right. Uh, gather, put each... Uh, then add, allocate tulips removed and in, gathered into columns in your auction block as, de as desired. So, um, we're going to put them into, I think... It doesn't really matter. I think I can put them into invest because no matter where I put them on here, um, if the cats are like, I really want that, and I can always say no because it says the consortium may decide to reject or accept any tulip purchases at their discretion. Because I want the I want the victory points. I think, um, and I think you can yeah you you can get the card draw and you can get the points. So I think getting the um, the points is is better there, um, especially if you only have one. I think that's not too bad. So let's go ahead and try that. So um, our four actions are going to be uh, irrigate. We're going to irrigate. Uh, irrigate here by discarding this. Oh, no. We have to do that with a poter. Um, shoot. Uh, maybe we do this. We move from here to here. Maybe this will be better. Move. Oh, I want to grow, though, too. Shoot. Um, hmm. Did I? No, I can't irrigate there. Did what did I do last turn? I moved. I built. I irrigated. Right, that's it. Because that's the the cats were scared with the 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 marsh token. Okay. Um. So we're gonna move. We're going to irrigate. And we're going to. Let's go ahead and move three. Let's move three, just because these guys are gonna be a little scary, and I think three is better um, defense there. So we're going to show that to Irrigate, I believe. Yeah, it's all reveal cards. Okay, Irrigate and... Hmm. Let's do this again. Let's grow. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be there and there. Now, um, I cannot... Cra I can craft using Tulis, but I only have two foxes, so I can't do that. So that's not going to work. Okay. So these come back to my hand, or no, we do the, I'm sorry, we do the auction. Let me go in order of the board there. We do the auction. I say no to everything. Even the cats are like, I'll give you all the points now. Um, although the cats could be like, I will get, oh man, this is a new dynamic right here. Uh, the cats could be like, I want, I want to draw. So you put this into card draw, right? So they're like, I will give you three points if I can draw a card. Because you're going to get two anyway. And you get to draw a card. So they keep you from drawing a card they take a tulip away from you. They give you three points. Hmm. Hmm. Or I say, no, I don't want to give you anything. Or they could recruit as well. Uh, and they could recruit. The cool thing about recruiting is you can recruit anywhere uh, where you have any pieces. So they could recruit into their keep. They could recruit into the, the rabbit clearing here. They could recruit anywhere. Very interesting. Uh, they could even recruit down here into the rabbit where there's nothing except one guy. Um, amazing. Okay, so the dynamic in this is, is crazy. 
Uh, and then finally, the it's all up to the, uh, the shoreline to be like, no, I don't want to do that. Or I also assume if, like, you had two different people, two different factions that wanted the card draw, they could both fight over it and be like, well, I want... I'll give you three points. The other one's like, well, I'll give you three points too. And then it's up for the shoreline to be like, um, hmm, I want to help you and shoot. They would actually choose. So even that there's no, the auction isn't really like who bids the highest. It's who makes the best deal and the consortium wants the help. So that's very interesting. Very interesting dynamic. Um, for this, for the sake of this, um, I kind of want the card draw because I want two cards here. I think that will be more useful. So let me go ahead and do that. Uh, this is going to go back to my supply. And I'm going to take two points. And I'm going to uh, draw a card for that. I'm going to return these to my hand. And I'm going to draw one more card at the, at the end there. Okay, so that looks that looks pretty good. We got uh, fox cards. We got mice cards. This is good. We don't really need any rabbit cards, actually. So that's 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 pretty good. Um, and that's the end of their turn. Okay, so now we're on to Marquise the Cat. We got a sawmill. We got a sawmill. Right, I didn't use that. I always get paranoid when I see wood. I'm like, I didn't I didn't take it away. Okay, oh, we only got that. Okay, so we're we're good there. Um, we're going to build a sawmill here. One, two. Uh, and score two points. Um, recruiter is, yeah, too much, I think. Well, so much for my building plan there, but that's okay. Um, we're going to recruit again. So there and here. And I think I'm going to battle in the mouse here. I want to battle in the mouse and see what happens. Oh, does it matter? Does it matter? Because the most they can do right now is three, right? The most they can do is three. Um, so even if they kill this off, that's not good enough. They almost got to like battle battle and hope for the best. Because if they have the March token is going to destroy them here, which is kind of funny. Um, so instead of battling, what could they do? They could move everyone out of here. Maybe that'd be best. And then they would be able to use the shoreline thing. They would be, or the, the 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 marsh token. They wouldn't be able to use it because then there's no warriors here. Hmm. Interesting. So then you just abandon ship. You're just like, well, get out of here. Maybe throw them here. Or maybe march one there, march there, and march here. Maybe that split them up like that. That'd be okay. Those are legal move actions. So interesting. Um. So yeah, I would say any enemy pieces, but at the same time, then I'll have to waste another t uh, tur or another action to get the marsh out, you know, uh, to put the marsh back so I can build a poter here. Polder. Am I saying that? I keep saying poter, I think. Polder, I think is correct. Pol polder <laughs> with an L. Oh my god. Polder. Uh, I'm all, I'm a stickler for good pronunciation and uh, makes me sad I've been saying it wrong. Polder. Okay, a polder. Okay, so, um... I think that's going to be the it. So they, they built, uh, they recruited, and then they, they moved here and there. Okay, so they're, they're fine. Um, they're going to draw a card. Draw a card. There we go. Okay. Um, back to the shoreline. We're going to flood. We cannot flood because it says, uh, which also contains enemy warriors. <laughs> no warriors. Um, I think that'd be very interesting because uh, what about Vagabond Interaction, for example? So I think, hint, 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 I think by my expertise in <laughs> my little experience with this is to change that to enemy pieces. But I don't know. Maybe that's maybe it's correct the way it is. Who knows? Okay, we're going to gather again. We're going to gather here um, and put that over here into invest, I think. Um, although it doesn't really matter because when the auction is over, we could do that to let's go put it into draw. Let's put it into Duran just for, for snicks and grins. Um, and we get to put two warriors at each uh, polder. Polder. Okay, so that goes there. Now, uh, we are going to build in a mouse. Oh, I'm, uh, that's correct. Okay, well, we're going to build in a mouse. We're going to build over here. Um, And it says you don't have to rule it. It just has to have a marsh token. So even if you had like a bunch of stuff here, you could still build. I think that's kind of fun. Uh, we're going to build there. We're going to build um, here. 
because I think I can do this. Check this out. I think I can do that. So build, build, and then oh, actually, in in in, I want to do that. I'm going to use that card for, to build there. I'm going to use this card to build there. I'm going to grow. So grow, grow, grow. It goes one there, one here, one here. Because you can grow at each polder. Um, and then that's the my three my. Have I only been doing three actions? <laughs> I think. Oh my god. I think I've been doing three actions, not four. Right? Because last turn I moved, I irrigated. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we've been skipping turns. Okay. Um. Well, you live and you learn. Uh, we're going to grow. We irrigated. We got one more action. I want to battle this and take out the recruiter then. Goodbye, recruiter. And we score a point. Ma ha 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 ha. Now, here's the magic that I wanted to do here and what I was looking forward to with my card uh, ideas. We're going to craft this because we have a fox point there. We're going to craft this because we have a mouse point there. Uh, and so we're going to uh, spend this to get an, uh, the hammer and score two points. Ooh, is th there's no sticky. Ooh, or there's no uh, there's no uh, snap there. Aha, make snaps <laughs> for crafted items. Uh, to do list. Okay, so we're gonna score two points there. We're going to make T and score two more points. And laugh again about no no snaps there. We're gonna and now we're catching up to the the cats here. Ooh. Ooh, watch out, cats. Okay, uh, that my, cra my crafting auction, we're going to say no thank you. We're going to grab two points, skip over the kitty cats, and we're going to put this back to our supply, and we're going to draw a card because we're low on cards, and we're going to draw one more card at the end of our turn after returning these to our hand. And so now, if we put that together, we got the magic that is there. That's cool. That is cool. Um, It looks like... Oh, we can't. I was thinking maybe we could make uh, two swords next turn, but I, I don't think so. I don't I don't think we can. Okay, so um, it seems like you can milk two points every turn, at least. Two points every turn. Uh, so, But the cats can obviously do that as well with the building thing. So they, so the, the, just getting your investment points is not going to be enough. You got to take over. You got to throw um, your, your opponent into difficult times. Okay, so the cats are going to go on, and they're going to um, place wood. First off, they're going to place wood. One and a two, and a three is here. I should have been more careful about where I put the... I should have probably built it here for uh, overwork's sake, but that's okay. Uh, crafting using workshops. We have a mouse and a rabbit, so we cannot make anything. But I want to build a workshop somewhere a mouse workshop no i wanted a fox workshop badly so we're gonna put a fox workshop here i think can and everything's connected that's fine workshop and we're gonna score two points and we're gonna take away two wood so there's one and there's two okay um I really, okay, so the problem is the cats, if they move in, well, number one, they can only move in, uh, it doesn't really matter because they got three, they got a bunch everywhere, but the, the it says, oh, sorry, it says here, um, masters of the waterway, masters of the waterway, waterways, uh, clearings with marsh tokens are considered river clearings when moving into a clearing with a marsh token and any of your warriors, uh, enemies cannot move into war, and more warriors than you have present. So that means that if they had a bunch of warriors here, they couldn't move all of them. You can't overwhelm. You can't overwhelm. I think, I wonder, I, I seriously wonder, especially with the cats, could you do this? If I have a bunch of warriors here, right? Could I move three over, like march, I can move twice. So can I move three and can I move three? I think that would be okay. So I can march and then move six in. Uh, but that would be both my move actions. I just can't move more than three at a time. I think it's correct. Um, but very interesting. Um, so... I built the workshop. I got my points. I took the wood out. I'm good. That was the first turn. For the second turn, I want to... See, and you can't... You'd have to, like, move in, battle, battle, battle. Get lucky with your battles just to even score points off of this. And what they could do later is just marsh you and kill you off anyway. So that's very dangerous to go in and invade these things. Uh, you'd almost have to work with teamwork and be like, Okay, I'm going to go invade. Will you invade too with me? And they're like, oh, Okay. 
But as soon as you get rid of warriors, if they only have one, it's like, well, now I only got one warrior. So it, oh man, it's such a dynamic. Um, so I think the casters need to bolster themselves. Uh, we're going to move, move, <laughs> I think. Or let's, let's put both of them. Let's do that. Move, move, just to bolster. Um, yeah, it's so weird. Um, yep. Uh, scary stuff. I think, so part of this is one, I don't know strategy right now because of the, uh, it's a new faction and I don't really know, I know how to play cats okay, but I don't know how to play cats versus, uh, the shoreline, right? Shoreline is a new, the new kids on the block. So it's, uh. A little strange here, um, but, you know, we'll try our best. Uh, so, anyway, that was the third action. We're going to flip this. Uh, that was build. What, it, what do they do? Build? Move? Yeah, build. Oh, they didn't They didn't do this yet, so they, they don't get this yet, but we'll throw that there. Uh, they built, they moved, and... Built another recruiter. Maybe that's it. Okay, so we're going to recruit... We're going to build a recruiter there and get one point. And we take off uh, one wood here. Let's take off this one. Okay. I think that's good. Um. See, the thing is, if I take this off, which is not ideal. Which one do I, I want to take this one off. I want to take this out. And then I can put two warriors at each polder, which is crazy because I can. If the, if you can you imagine if the shoreline had like twenty warriors, that'd be insane. Um, but I think because I can put, I have to put two at each one. I think I can put them wherever I want, so I can choose. Uh, and I want to put, uh, I think both of them here. So I can move four. This is, so that is going to go into into. Uh, I like kind of like the invest idea. I want to put four uh, there. Um, also, oh, I didn't. Yeah, okay. And then this goes here. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, that is our first move action. I want to irrigate using the fought. There it is. I want to do that. I can build another polder, but that's not really ideal right now. But the four thing here, that's going to be a little crazy for them, I think. Especially if I... So that's one, two, three... One and two. Uh, move and irrigate. I want to grow. So the growing is a little insane right now. I can put two here and two there. And the reason you put two is because they have um, a polder, so you get one. But for every tulip, you put another one. So the next time I grow here, it will it grows like almost exponentially. Um, or something, I forget the term. Anyway, uh, I would put, so here, the next time I grow, which I, I can only do once per turn now, not, not indefinitely like I had before. Um, but, uh, I would put one, two, three, four, four more on here. So that would be a little bit crazier. So you start racking up the, the points and that's how you craft as well. So that's kind of what my goal is here is to craft. Um, and I think I can craft a couple of these. So, uh, this is going to look like this. Um, I moved... I uh, irrigated, I grew, oh, and I get to put a tulip here, I'm sorry, I didn't, get to, I didn't see that, there we go, um, and then I get to, uh, I want to battle here, we're going to battle here, and that will hurt the cats here a lot, well, ish, 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 ish. They gotta ra rally forces here, or else they're gonna lose stuff. Um, and this is like serious pushback. Like these guys can come in, maybe that'll be it, and move and battle, battle. Maybe that'll do it. But what I want to say is, right now, what the cat, what the the shoreline can do, is that was all four of their actions. Now they are going to craft using tulips. They have so many tulips to work with. Um, and I believe what I can do is I can do the bake sale. I can do the arms trader. Now I'm curious if I can do royal claim as well. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need one, two, three, four. I need eight. So that's, this is not not enough. Um, what I kind of want to do then is do one of these two and then do the royal claim. Hmm. So let's do the bake sale. 
let's do the bake sale this goes here uh we get this and three points the reason i'm doing that is because you get three points instead of just the two for the sword uh and i have both the swords anyway so that's not an issue if i lose one um we're going to get three points that's where that's where my head is uh and we're going to do royal claim with the other other four here so we're gonna craft that Okay, and then we are going to um, score two points, put that back, score two points, and draw a card. And we're going to draw another card. Cool. So we got travel gear. Um, yeah, the shoreline is keeping their own right now. Shoreline's pretty scary, uh, I would say. If I were the cats, I'd be like, um, hmm, thought I had this in the bag, but... Yeah, Shoreline, Shoreline can hold their own for sure. So then the cats are going to go, and they're going to put wood everywhere. So wood here, wood, wood. They put a total of three, so one one there and one here. Um, they got to keep building. Uh, let's keep building sawmills then. We're going to build a sawmill down here. Uh, huh. Yeah, I see what they're doing. I, got, I see what we're going to do here. Um, oh, and they, they drew that card last time i don't think i drew for them right okay um so they built that they're gonna score three points so they're tied here let me put it down there uh then they're going to move three from here and one from here that's their move action that's their march And then they're going to hope that they can get something crazy here. Um, so they're going to battle. With the third action, they're going to battle. <laughs> oh, they're they're happy. Okay. They're going to battle, and then they're going to um, spend a bird card. That was a third action. They're going to spend this one to battle again. Two to one, that'll do it for them. They're happy with that. These go away. They score a point. They score a point. And they reclaim that. Okay, I believe the... Um, hmm. Let's see, mice. Okay, interesting, interesting. Okay, so then they're going to draw a card. They draw a card. That's the end of their turn. They need, a, they need a fox workshop so bad. Um, we're going to flood. We cannot flood anywhere, so that's okay. We're going to gather... Um, I want to gather the bunny ones, I think. Yes. All three of these go here now. Okay. And we're able to put people at our polders. So I want to put them here. And I want to put them here. Oops. I want to put them here. Okay, we are going to move five people here. And yet you could move along the river here, by the way, but I want to do this. <clears throat> And you know, I'm kind of interested about this too, because this is kind of safe. This is actually kind of a safe haven right now, because only one person can move in. And to go this way, there's only one. To move this way, you can only move one at a time. Especially if you own this clearing, you own that clearing. This is very difficult to get to, uh, just to move in with uh, if you're the cats. So that makes that interesting. So the first one is move. Second one is to irrigate by using a um, mouse card. Third one is to build using a mouse card. Um, and we're going to grow. So one, two, three, four, insane. One, two, three, four. Oh, I guess it doesn't work that way. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Uh, one, two, and we're going to put one here and one there because now we can grow there. Hmm. 
Um, we are going to build. We, we let's see. We moved. We irrigated. We built. We grew. Yeah, we're okay. That's all four. We're going to build both of these. We're going to craft both of these. Um, so that will get us two swords. And we're crafting champions. One, two, three, four. Um. Now, I when you're I I've asked him about this, and I'm I'm not doing this correctly. But when you're when you get these, you're supposed to allocate them right away. You're supposed to put them exactly where they're supposed to go. Uh, you can't change them at this point, even though I'm doing that now. Um, so I'm I'm breaking the rules. I'm a bad bad tester. Um, but we're going to do the auction, and I kind of want to say, hey cats, will you give me a point for a card? And they would probably say no because they got enough bird cards. What are they going to do with an extra card? And then I would say, well, how, would you give me a point for uh, recruiting or a move? And they might say, I'll take a recruit for one point. And I'll say, fine, fine, fine. Give me a point. And you guys can recruit. And they're going to recruit here. That might be about it. Okay, so then that goes away. That that becomes their trophy. Let's throw that there. They actually can hold on to that for the rest. Because when, I believe, let me see if I got this right. Um, I didn't read this last bit. Hedge your bets. Um, when a purchase is complete, the consortium scores a lead bidder for each column. The bidders do not lose VP when purchased. Uh, tulips are removed from the game. So yeah, this becomes your tulip. It's like the cats buy it. I'm like, oh, thank you for the for for buying. Uh, it says hedge your bets when you when you reject offers for any given column, you may spend one card. When you do, return the tulips in that column to your supply and take the action described in that column, as if you had purchased one tulip. Oh my god, oh my god. So, wow. Um. Okay. So I can get a free move. I can be like, well, I don't want that one. I can throw a card out, and then I can do the action anyway. Wow. Um, I kind of want to throw code breakers away. Because what you could do is just you do that. You throw this back to your supply and you do that. Because it doesn't matter if you have a million uh, f tulips here in, in invest. It doesn't matter. If you, ha if you have at least one, you can score. The only difference is I would be able to draw. So I oh, I could have the uh, extra card draw. So let me, do it. let me go ahead and do that then. Just do that in this. So I guess the card draw doesn't matter. Uh, you could either throw, you could exchange and throw out a card if you somehow didn't want one, but you could just do that. But recruiting and move are powerful. I can't recruit, of course, but moving might be very useful. Hmm. Especially to take over here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move there. I think that'll be good. And that means I lose a tulip, and that means I get to draw one, get two points, draw one card, get two points, return everything to my hand, which is fine, they're already back, and then I'm going to draw one more at the end of my turn. <laughs> oh man, um, cats are crying. Okay, we're going to build another... Um, Oh my god. We're going to build something. We got to we got to keep building. Just keep building. Uh we're going to get wood right now. Uh wood wood and wood. I don't think I used up wood last time. See? I'm always afraid of that. So I used 3 wood, 1 2 and 3 wood last time. To build the uh the sawmill. Okay, and then so we get, during our bird song, we get one, two, three, four wood. So one, two, three, four, four wood. Um, now this wood is no longer usable, unfortunately. Um, what do I do? 
I think I want to build. Let's try this. I got a bunch of bird cards. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to build a recruiter here. I'm going to recruit uh, a bit of death. Let me, let me do everything. Um, build a recruiter. That will give us two wood away. Um, sure. Why not? Two wood away, and that gets us, uh, yeah, two points. We're going to mar. This is also dangerous because it doesn't matter. They're going to get their warriors right back next turn. We're going to recruit uh, two here. We're going to recruit one over here. We're going to march here, here, and here, and there. We can put all four because there's four in there. But now these are open. So that's dangerous too. Although, the shore. Oh, and the shoreline can move along the river. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um. Yeah, so the short line can move from here to there. So if they <laughs> recruit warriors here, they can move there and then get free. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is scary stuff, guys. Uh, we're going to move two. That's it. We're just going to move two. Um, yeah, one from there and one from there. That's how that's going to work. Scary times. Uh, we are going to... That was... Let's see. Okay, so we built. We recruited. We're going to spend another one to battle. We're going to battle here. Why is battling there so useful? Hmm. <laughs> of course, get three to three. Oh, my God. Uh, they get to keep one. Ah, there we go. Something's up with these tokens or whatever these call them, pieces. Um, they get to do that, and they lose three cats as well. They're going to hopefully, yeah, they got, they're going to use that, uh, rabbit card here to bring them back to their keep, use the field hospitals. Uh, and then cry, dude. I don't know. What do we do? Oh my God. We can't even build anywhere anymore. We're running out of real estate. We can build here, but I mean, yeesh, cats are slowing down. Um, that is it then. They're gonna draw two cards because now they can draw two. One, two. Wow. Yeah, usually the cats slow down around 21, 22 points, but slowing down so early is kind of dangerous for them. Um, cool. In any case, um, Flood. You know, we have the mouse card to spare. We could get rid of this guy. Just to use that interaction anyway. So Flood goes away. Do that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, my bad. I'm not doing that because then the, the tulip and the polder will go away too. Nah, nah. We're, screw that. Um, We are going to gather though. I don't need Fox Point. Battle Taxes is always useful, but we don't need the we don't need this. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to throw each of these away. They all go here. Now let me actually um, put these in where they should go. Uh, we're gonna put one into draw. We're gonna put one into recruit. Let's just put them even. Maybe that's just the safest way to go. And we'll throw the last one in and invest and just say no. There's no way no one will, anyone will get that one. Um. So gather and then we get to put two people here. And we're gonna put uh, cause you put. Remove all two. Then if you're moving any tools, place two warriors at each polder. Yeah, um, scary stuff, scary stuff, um, I want to put one up here, I think, sure, okay, we're going to move here, I don't need to grow, do I, no, sorry, what I want to do right now, I believe I can do this now, in Birdsong, you may discard this. Yo, Birdsong, before before I do anything else, before I do my four actions, I'm still in Birdsong. I want to discard this and score one, two, three, four points. One, two, three, four points. Yeah, and then ideally I have three turns left, if that. Uh, two turns with the travel gear. Yeah, this is looking like it's going to be good for the, uh, the shoreline. Um, doesn't look like the cats can do much here. Uh, so we're going to then move four here. Let's see if we can just score even more points. Um, 
four here. Battle in the first clearing. <laughs> oh, man. Um, My review right now, Shoreline might be a little too strong. But they are super OP right now. This is this is pretty good. It, it, they're fun to play, don't get me wrong. But they might be a little on the strong side. Maybe... I think they were a little weak before, but now they're a little <laughs> a little on the strong side. Uh, like, how do you go against them unless you team up against them? Um, yeah. Okay, so they move, they battled. They're going to... Uh, why not air gate? Why not air gate here? Just for fun. They can't build anyway because there's no more polders left. Um, and I think you can only flood once per turn, right? Uh, yeah, you may move... Remove one Marsh token. So I got I, I learned the last time. You got to be careful where you put your Marshes, your Marsh tokens. Actually, instead of doing that, I could have marched here. Maybe that would have been better. And then I get those two points. Hmm. Because uh, these guys can move along the rivers, which is crazy. Crazy. Uh, they do have to build Marshes as they walk, though. They can't, they can't travel from, like, where is it? They can't go from here to here unless one of them has a Marsh token in it. Or they can't move from a clearing that doesn't have a march token in it. Or it's a, not a river. So that's very uh, interesting um, break here. This guy can't move, actually, until he builds a, a an irrigation here, or here. Until he irrigates here. So maybe that'll be my last turn, is to irrigate there, just to see what happens. So irrigate here. Uh, so one is move, two is uh, battle, three is irrigate, four is irrigate. Should be fine. Okay, we're going to craft using um, one, two... Uh, we don't take the tulips away. What am I doing? We're going to craft uh, a boot. We're going to craft a boot. Score point. Um, and now the thing is, which is really funny, if the cats give me any points right now, I win, right? So they're going to say no. They To keep the game going is their only hope. They're either, I mean, they're not, they don't have any hope left, but... The only thing they can do is give me a single point, and if they give me a point, I win because I'm going to put one in and invest and get plus two there. Um, I think maybe for invest, a couple a couple changes. One, I would say take only up to three actions. I think four is quite a lot. Um, and then up, uh, invest is, as I think even when I was doing three, I wasn't really falling that far behind when I wasn't realizing the whole thing. Uh, and then the, the next part is invest. Um, if you don't score VP points through draw, recruit, and move, then then you then you should take the, the, the VP or just score one or something. I think two is a nice chunk. Um, I think there needs to be a little bit of balance there, but that's just that's just my thinking here. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, so we are going to say cats are going to say no. All of these are going to come to invest. Uh, do I want to do anything? I can move. I can recruit. I can't recruit, so let me see if I want to move anyway. Um, I'll take I'll take two and move them down here. That's fine; doesn't bother me. Um, I'll take two and move them up here. That's a legal move action because I own that clearing, so I can move. Uh, that'll take two of these; those go away, and the rest go into invest. I can drop to five cards, um, and it says I think. Draw cards equal to tulips here up to three. Okay, so it doesn't matter that I have five. I can only draw three cards. I screwed that up last time. I kept drawing cards beyond the five. Um, but all those are going to go back. I score two points, and I draw three cards. Only one, two, and three cards, which is still, you know, quite a bit. I feel like the lizards right now where you just have so many cards. Um, and then we're going to uh, draw one more card at the end of our turn. Uh and i mean it doesn't matter because as soon as i get rid of a flower and say no to everyone i'm going to score my points but let's go ahead and do this did i i try i crafted my travel gear right why is this still here i don't know i might be off by a point anyway uh we don't need the favor although that would be hilarious let's keep the favor Let's keep the favorite cards. So we don't need ambush, uh, but we'll keep ambush anyway. We don't need the command warn. Uh, we don't need code breakers. Um, we don't need brutal tactics. Okay, we're gonna stay there. 
Uh, and then the cats have one more turn, I think, to score the most amount of points. They have, they're going to build here, but let's put wood in. They get three wood here. Put one wood, put one wood, put one wood. And they're going to build in a mouse. They're going to build, I don't know. These don't, they all get the same amount of points, right? They'll get three, so there's no real big deal. Big difference here. But I think for utilizing for this turn, uh, Recruiter is going to somehow be the most useful in doing anything. Uh, they get to score or recruit. Um, they're going to they're going to do one more hail mary here. They're going to move here. They score three points. One, two, three. Right. Uh, and they used up three wood. One, two, and three wood. Okay. I think that's, I think I'm doing this correctly. Uh, and then they're going to battle a bunch here. They're going to battle. They built. They're going to battle here. I'm sorry, they moved here. They got to battle, and then they're going to battle again. They're going to battle twice. Unfortunately, they can only battle twice here, but let's see what they can do. There's three to two. Uh, okay, well, there's two, and there's one, two, and three for a tulip. So they score points. And then they're going to battle again with using the ambush card. And they score, cool. They score two. Uh, they're going to uh, get rid of all this stuff. Um, is there, there's no, yeah, there's no penalty for losing a, uh, a, a marsh. Uh, but anyway, they get three points there, one, two, and three. Did I do that right? Shoot. Sure, I think they're there. Um, <clears throat> and that's about all they can do. So they're going to draw two cards and discard one. So draw two, flippy flip, discard one, um. I've had they had that card all game long. Okay. Uh these guys are going to flood. They cannot flood anywhere. Interest they can flood here. <laughs> oh my god, they can flood here. Uh they get one, two, that's and then that's game. There's one, two, and three with the flood. Uh maybe I had some bad insights or something for that, but that that's game there. Um that'll that'll do it. Um, oh, and the warrior goes away. Let's do that. Uh, and flood kills, remove all pieces from that clearing other than your warriors. Okay, so the, the march token goes away too, just to be completely fair. Um, and I believe, I believe that's, that's game, guys. Uh, shoreline is a little OP. Now, now, no, 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 to be fair, to be fair, look at the crafting. Look at the crafting. These guys had crafting availability where these guys did not. So that's part of it. Uh, these guys can craft, um, in spurts. Uh, and they also had um, the royal claim. So that's probably a lot of it. Uh, because uh, even if you take out the two T's, right? You say, okay, well, these guys are equal on T. This is still two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points beyond. So they should be, without any of the extra crafting, they should be at 20. And without the other thing, they should be uh, at 17. So maybe, maybe they're actually fair. Maybe they're completely fine. Uh, they would have been lagging big time if they didn't keep up the, the crafting game. Uh, that being said, cats usually don't craft anyway. They have stuff to craft, but they couldn't make most of this stuff. They couldn't make a crossbow, for example. Um, so it all depends on stuff like that. Uh, I think it, this needs another to run, another run through, but this was very, very cool. Uh, and I like to see everything uh, mingle inside. I need to remember the rules as I go through. Um, I hope the rules don't change much too much from this time to last time. Maybe uh, four is okay. Maybe all the other things are okay. Uh, so I think in retrospect, uh, maybe the changes don't need to be made. Um, but this is definitely worth another playthrough, uh, which I'll probably do soon enough. So thank you for watching. I think this was very fun. Very cool. Bye-bye.